welcome back to another movie review, guys. So that's right, today we're going to be going over Disney Animation's new movie, Encanto. Now, this is always really fun for me. I love Disney Animation. I was brought up on it. You know, I grew up with things like The Lion King, Aladdin, Jungle Book, Peter Pan, Pinocchio. So I've always stuck with Disney. I have, I have the collection line here, all 58 of their films. Um... Yeah, 58. It's weird. They say on the, the when the film comes up that this is the 60th, but according to the Disney Blu-ray line, it's the 59th. So I'm really confused. I'm guessing maybe when they put the 60th movie on the, the on the screen, maybe that's what they include in Dinosaur. I don't know. I don't know. Because the Disney Animation Blu-ray range doesn't include Dinosaur. So I, I, I was a bit confused by all of that. But anyway, here we are. We're back with their new film. It's the second film this year after Ray and the Last Dragon. I liked Ray and the Last Dragon a lot. It wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. But here we have Encanto. And um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't watch a single trailer for this movie. <laughs> um, had absolutely no idea what this film was about. So I went into it completely blind. But anyway. So this film is directed by Jared Bush. And... Uh, 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 Brian Howard, sorry, <laughs> and um, is that Charis Castro Smith? So directed by three people. Didn't know that. I'm, I've got my notes here, and um, yeah, didn't know it's directed by three people. <laughs> but anyway, it tells the story of a young Colombian girl who is faced with frustration in being the only member of her family without magical powers in a house of magic. This house of magic also looks after this um, town, this village that they live in, and the magic that this family possesses holds everything together, basically. And throughout this film, we start to see the magic fade, crumble away. So, yeah, as I, I didn't even know this going into the films. So this was all news to me. Um, didn't know it was a musical either, so I was pleasantly surprised there. We love a musical. We love it. The opening song is great. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll start there while I'm talking about it, the music in this film. Um, is this Disney's best music? No. Is it their worst? No. It sort of falls around the middle, I think. There's some really good songs in here. The production of the music, um, can be a little bit much at times, I thought. Um, like, it, like, Moana, Tangled, um, have a very nice, and um, in The Princess and the Frog, just trying to figure their more recent ones, have a more, um, very Disney vibe to them. This feels more similar to Frozen, in there's that very modern production sound over the top of it um but there's still some really good songs the lyrics are good they're sung really well and they're really fun so it's a small complaint yeah but overall i still really like the songs in this movie they're really good especially the opening song the closing one and the one with the flowery girl i can't remember what the song was called off the top of my head but that was re really good as well characters I was really worried at the start because the opening song introduces you to so many characters and it tells you really quickly where they are in the family and stuff because there's a lot of members. You've got the, you've got the man and you've got the, 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 the kids and then you've got the grandkids and then they've got kids now and it's just like there's brothers and sisters and blah, blah, blah. There's one that's ran off and he's nowhere to be seen and blah, blah, blah. And the way the first song goes is it's very quick. It, you can't take in on first watch who goes where. However, this film does a brilliant job throughout, the, the, throughout its runtime of explaining to you who belongs where. So when you get a proper scene with these characters, it does remind you where they are in the family and does a great job at that. Um, so yeah, I, I could completely tell by the end of the film who was where, you know, who was whose kid, who were brother and sisters, blah, blah, blah. And I thought that was really cool. Um, the plot itself was really fascinating. I thought for it all to be, I, I you know, I love going to like uh, Disney when they do different cultures and, you know, like, um, of course, we had Coco. I know that this is Pixar, but we had Coco with um, Mexican, the Day of the Dead Day. Uh, Luca with the Italian themes going on. Um, and Moana. You know, it's great. And it's, it's good to see this Colombian-esque um, kind of culture here, which I think is great. I love it when Disney do stuff like this um, in any film, really. It's great to see other cultures, I think. Um, and um, it's, it's so colourful and vibrant. I love that. And it, the plot as well, it works really well with, I think, um, having that very magical feeling, which I can imagine is what Colombia is like. It's, you know, it's meant to be a beautiful place. Um, the magic itself was awesome. The powers were really cool. Um, it was great to see these characters use them. I think it was animated beautifully as well. Um, I actually preferred the animation style in Raya and the Last Dragon. 
It's probably the only thing I liked more about Raya over this. Um, I did like Raya. It's not a dig at it, but I definitely preferred this movie. Um, purely because I think that the facial sculptures and stuff were better on Raya. They looked a bit more modern, I guess. Here, sometimes like there were some background characters which didn't look as great as the main characters I sort of noticed near the start of the movie. I brought this complaint up when the film finished and my... Friends who I went to this with didn't agree with me, so I don't know if maybe I was being too picky or something, but I don't know, there's a couple characters, side characters at the start, and I looked at it, I was like, the animation isn't as good on you as it was on, like, side characters in Raya, or even Frozen. But I think that is because of the animation style they go with here. It is a bit different to Raya and Frozen, which is great. I do love that. I love that Disney will do different styles of animation. I still really wish they'd go back and make another 2D animated film. I think it'd be great. I think people would still go see it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think the runtime in this is perfect. The film's just really, really good. Um, I had a really, really fun time with this. It's got the Disney charm. It's a brilliant film if you've got kids. It's a brilliant film to take your kids to. So go do that. If, you know, you're going to go as a family to see a movie this weekend or something, go see Encanto. Um, I can't imagine anyone having a problem with this film, to be honest, because it's just one of those typical, innocent, charming Disney movies. And it's really fun, it's got a lot of heart, a lot of good songs, and it's a good time. I'm going to give this film an 8 out of 10. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.